for today's little adventure, I am going to be making a mock vase. I saw someone else kind of start one like this and I thought it'd be fun to do. So we're gonna start with a bit of a base like this. You guys can't see it, excuse me. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and we are gonna add one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be a square base, but it's gonna be a little bit different than a regular square base. Okay. So I need to be like this with my, my green is gonna be on the outside. So <laughs> Okay, it's gonna be a little weird. So, the inside is gonna have this piece that connects them all together. Okay, so we have this, and we have this, and then we have this, which is gonna come up in a second. So, what we're gonna do is going to put this here. So this is gonna stick out. There? No, sorry. I've lost my ability to do things. Okay. Here we go. Losing my train of thought here. Alright. So we're gonna go like this. And this is gonna go like this. And then we're gonna stick. Oh, make sure I'm on the right way. I want to have it go this way because this is actually a purple brick which is really awesome for those of you who like the brick style. I think it's totally cool. Super excited about finding purple ones. I kind of wish they would have had the light green ones. Okay. Always starting the bottom of a vase is always one of the more difficult parts for me, mostly because it's just getting them the pieces in place and all that stuff. Okay. I can do this, I can. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I can do it. No, I can't. It's just a little bit of a thing. Once it gets going, it'll be fine. It's just getting that first set of pieces in that always gets me when I start. Okay. And I did it the wrong way. Good job. Okay, sorry. Okay, so here we go. This is what we're starting with. This is what the base of it looks like. So we've got these two here going across this way. And this is what it looks like. So go, here we go. You've got pink. You got a two by four or however, I don't know what they, I don't, I'm sorry. I've been building Legos for a while and I, and I still don't know the names of the pieces because I just grabbed them. I don't think of what they're called. So I apologize if I ever t say the wrong name for things. I don't know what they are and I apologize for that. Okay. So we've got whatever this piece is called. Two by two, two by four, whatever. I think it's two by two though, because there's two by two. Two, two, yeah, two by two, I believe. And then you've got this pretty, you don't have to use the brick, but I was just so pretty, I wanted to get it from the store. Anyway, so this purple brick here, and it is a one by four, and then we use our little one by two green, okay? So that's pretty fun. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to this, we're gonna add a pink here, and a pink here, and a pink here, and a pink here. Now I'm going to add some embellishments. So I am going to add a heart here. Cause I'm making this, well, I'm making it, I got hearts and I wanted to add these pink hearts. I love, I love colors. I love having lots of colors and I like having the darker pink on these and it's just fun. And I could swap it out and I can make it like this if I wanted to, and I could do whatever I wanted, but I like it where they're all pointing out. So kind of lines up good. Okay, so when you look at these, you're gonna see pink on the dark pink on the edges. Now if I could just get that one turn a little bit. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going back like this. Okay. So look like that. So these are gonna be sticking out on the side. So it's not gonna be the vase is not gonna be very, very wide. So maybe one or two pet, um, flowers from their collection are gonna be able to fit in there. And that's okay. All right, so this is what this part looks like. And then we're gonna stick our green in, okay? Now, as you can see, when this happens, the these are gonna get covered up. Because what happens is you stick this here, this here, and this here. So we're going back 
forth with the green and the pinks for the different row, different um, sections here. It's gonna be rows. And different rows. We're gonna have different things. Again, I'm gonna put, I might just stick these on before I put them on just because it's a little unstable when I first put it on. There we go. But I think it's fun. It's just, the idea is kind of fun and I like having when you look at it. It's okay. So if you look at this color from the side like this, you just have that little extra pop of pink that pops up right there. And I like that. Now I probably could do, if I added a one piece, that'd probably make it more secure. I don't think I have any in my collection from, yeah, I did not get any. So what it would look like if we, or if you want to make it different, you could do a green, like a, but it would be more secure if you wanted to put a piece here. I do not have that. I might see what it looks like in a second. So instead of doing this, I'm, I'm keeping with the hearts, but instead of doing this, if you wanted it to be more secure, because right now it kind of comes off, and even this one, it comes off a little bit. The bottom, the top one's gonna to be the one where it comes off the most. So you could do it like this, where you had this, this, This is what it's going to look like. It's going to be like that. But when you go to the next level, you're going to be putting that pink on the edge. So if you wanted it to be more secure, which I'm not really caring about right now, and I didn't grab the pieces to make it, and they didn't have the color I would have wanted anyways, you could do it like this. And then you would have a sturdier base here. Because this one's okay, but it's not the greatest. Like, if I was going to have someone who isn't very good at building Legos, I would recommend just having a piece here just so that way they have more stability, you know? Like it's, 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 it's locked in place, but that top one is gonna be a little wobbly. So it's fine either way. But that's something that you could do if you wanted to change up the style just a little bit. I just don't have the pieces to do that right now. And to be honest, I don't really want to, but that is just another idea. So I made this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 high because I'm wanting to put my um, cherry blossoms in there. And so at the top, I have these and then I added the hearts here so there's a little gap in between. I thought that'd be kind of cute and fun. <clears throat> so I like it. I like having a little bit of color. So I like the green, <clears throat> excuse me, I like the green and the purple and the pink pastels and I like the little dark pink for that. So I made it 15 high because my cherry blossoms any higher than that and the cherry blossoms are gonna kinda get not so great spacing. Okay, so you guys can see. Sorry, I've got stuff on my table. Anyway, you guys can see them with the cherry blossoms in there. I think it works out really well because it's tall enough to hold the cherry blossoms but not too tall that it makes it where these can't fit in properly. And this was only gonna be a vase that held two flowers anyways because of how small and narrow the inside is, but it's nice and sturdy enough for the blossoms, the cherry blossoms are not gonna tip over, which some vases they can or they'll just be wobbly. So I like it. Anyway, thank you for joining us for today's little adventure. And please join us for next today's little adventure.